spinning, spinning, spinning. Oh god, dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know what do I do. Got it. <laughs> I got him. I got him. He's right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So today, Nick and I are out here doing a challenge, something we have never done, something I don't think anybody has ever done, and it's been a while since we've done something like this, since we've done a video where it just kind of blows up the internet, all right? So what we're gonna be doing, well, <laughs> We're gonna be putting this giant flag that is above Nick's head. I don't know if you can see this, but. <laughs> it's rather large. We're gonna be putting it to the test today. We're going to be using it on a giant tip up. And I mean giant, like 10 plus feet long. Yes, and Judging tall. By this flag that you can't even see in frame. This it's, thing <laughs> it's rather large. is huge. We constructed this bad boy last night and I must say, it is very impressive. It is fully functional. I'm just so pumped to be out here absolutely filming a banger for you guys. 2019 is gonna be our year. Oh God, yeah. It is gonna be our year. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So what we're gonna be doing today is constructing this giant tip up and we're gonna try catching some fish on it. We're gonna be going for some Northern Pike up here in Northern Wisconsin. And uh, we've got a couple other beaver dam tip ups that we might as well set up too. We don't wanna just have one tip up, but we do have one extremely large tip up. This thing, Honestly, could be a Guinness World Record. I don't even know. I've never seen a tip up this big. I don't know of anybody ever using something to this size. There's really no purpose to it, to be completely honest with you. No, we but just, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> it's just gonna be funny. We feel like being a bunch of hooligans on the internet, and that's exactly what we're doing today. So, we are gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up, drill some holes, and catch some fish. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we got our enormous tip up all set up. As you can tell, this thing is huge. You can't even see the flag that I'm standing by if I stand right next to this. And I'm almost about six feet tall. As you can tell, this is extremely big. Now what we got going for how we built this bad boy is the outside frame is all PVC, the flag is PVC. What we got for a spring is we just got a garage door spring pretty heavy duty and then what we got for this it's actually quite simple guys came up with this by ourselves now this is off of just what is this an HT tip up from Walmart Walmart special we already got it all rigged up basically all we do now is we set this just like this just barely so then this flag is sitting in there like this now I'm not gonna stick my hand in the water to get it cold but if I turn this like a fish is gonna hit it, this flag is gonna fly up. Ready, Brandon? Boom, tip up. This thing works every single time, it's perfect. And if we cannot see this tip up, we're gonna have to go to the doctors and get an eye test because this thing is gonna stand out like crazy. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna set this bad boy back up. We're gonna go over there, set up our other tip ups just to have some fun today. This isn't gonna be the only flag that we have today, like Brandon said. We're just going to catch some fish and test this bad boy out for you guys. So you guys got to stay tuned. This is going to be a fantastic day. Dude, is that thing up? Dude, is that thing up? I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Dude, I swear that thing's up. You got your binoculars? I can't tell. Just kidding. I can tell. It's up. It's huge. Let's go. Woo -hoo! Oh, yeah. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Oh God. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know. What do I do? Got it. <laughs> I got him. I got him. He's right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not bad. Oh gosh, I can't get him through the hole. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah. Come here. Woo! Look at that. That's awesome. Not a bad pike. First pike on the giant 10 foot tip up. 
I don't even believe it. It worked. It truly works. The most outrageous tip up I've ever seen does catch fish. That is awesome. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy unhooked and get him back down there. Thanks for playing the game, buddy. That is so awesome, guys. Check that out on the giant tip up. I didn't even know how to take it. Uh, what do you do with the tip up this big? I think I did that correctly. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did I take that fish correctly? Because I don't know how the heck you're supposed to move a tip. Dude, we have another tip up. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta go. We got another tip up on the other side. Okay, we're gonna get this guy disconnected and get him back down the hole. All right, we're gonna get a release on him quick. Send him back down. See you later. Thanks for playing gentle. That was nice of him. All right, we're gonna reset this quick and get to that flag. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, how's it going? Woo, decent weight to it. Come on up, buddy, get up here. Oh yeah, woo! Hello, buddy, come here. Come here! Oh my goodness! You are a squirmy little guy. Look at that. Check that out. Decent pike. Not a monster, but a pretty nice one. Decent weight to him. A little bit of a fatty. A little belly going on him. Beautiful color. Beautiful fish. Got the tip-up line all wrapped up around him there. He gave us quite the show as he came out of the hole, but hey, that's a decent second fish. I'll take that all day. We're gonna go ahead and get this one removed. Ooh, we did not choke it, that's good. Got it right on the corner of the lip there. That is user friendly, I might say. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the player still, get that out of there, we'll get him back down the hole. Okay, um, I don't know what happened. I looked over and I saw a tip up and Nick looked over and he saw a tip up and we're sitting right in between where we're set up, complete opposite sides of the lake. But we're going for that one because that one's way cooler. Let's go and see what we got, oh boy! No movement yet on this one, but we do kind of have to hurry because that tip up is up and it is a long ways away and if there's a fish, it's definitely going to spool us. So, I don't see Bob on this one. I'm just going to do one of these thingies. And it feels like the minnow is gone. Alright, that little son of a gun took the minnow on the gigantic tip up. I don't know actually how we got away because we got over here pretty darn fast because I don't know if you guys noticed but that thing's pretty easy to spot. So I saw it right away and we just took off sprinting. So I don't know how this fish got it, but he did. We're gonna get a new minnow, go check that flag. This fish could still be here, but never know. Does not feel like a good sign, no good sign at all because this one also stole the minnow. <laughs> all right guys I couldn't tell if this one was up or not but now that I got a little bit closer I can see it for my own eyes. Oh it's spinning too. Oh boy here we go. Here we go. Okay okay okay. Here we go. A little movement. I'm gonna go ahead and take her here. I know she's here. Yep. Go to a bit of line. Oh there's Bobber. Not a big one. Not big. Come through the hole. Oh, woo, woo! There we go. Another one on the extra large tip up. That is awesome. Just a little guy. I like how he's hooked. You are. You guys are being friendly today. Usually, they choke it down on us. But honestly, guys, with the high pressure that we've been having lately, the last two three days, the pressure just keeps going up and up and up. So. That's probably why they're biting a little bit more light than what they usually do, but that's a decent little pike. Good Thanks, boys. buddy. Go ahead and get this guy unhooked right away. There we go. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Whew, they're slimy little buggers. Okay, we're gonna get this one set back up. Hopefully we get a few more fish here. We are starting to run out of daylight, but it's been a pretty excellent bite today. It's been tough to stay on top of them, battling the distance between tip-ups, but this is a really high key area that we're set up on a rock bar right here, and we've got a weed edge that we're fishing way down there. So the balance between the two has been working out pretty well so far today. We're gonna go ahead and get this one back down there and see which one we get more tip-ups on. So far, this big guy's doing the trick. 
got it. Either it's swimming at me. Oh yeah, it's got some weight now. Feels like a nicer fish. Or I'm ripping it through a ton of weeds. All right, bobber. Nope, just got a lot of weeds, small little northern. Come here, buddy. Hey, okay. So what I'm thinking with this guy, this is probably the one that took my minnow the last time. I guarantee it, this little bugger was probably just waiting for another snack. He's hooked right here, which makes it nice and easy. It's nice when you actually get to the flags right away. You gotta do a little bit of running, get your exercise in, but it definitely pays because when they swallow, it's a pain in the butt to get them out. But small little pike, get a release on this guy. Nice and slimy, full of energy. Another tip up on the big tip up. No movement yet from it. It's kind of been a trend today. A lot of the flights we get to, there's not been a lot of movement on it. But that does not mean the fish aren't there. They're biting super light today. We haven't had a single fish actually swallow the minnow completely yet. Fall bend right on the corner of the mouth, which isn't a bad thing for us because it's easy for us to unhook them and get the fish back safely. But they're not very aggressive. And this is not a good sign right here. Oh, a little bit of movement. Just twitched about a quarter, oh, there it goes. Definitely gonna be a fish in this. Brandon, watch your head. Yep, got him. Does not seem big. Bobber's right there. Come on up. Say hi to NB Edits. Hello. <laughs> Just a little guy. You can definitely tell the pressure is pretty hard. Don't go back in the hole. <laughs> when they're wet, they're so slimy. Uh, this is a tiny little guy. Like I was saying, you can tell the pressure is pretty high today because usually on this lake, we're not catching these little snakes. We're catching some pretty decent pike. This is actually pretty much right where I caught my 40 inch pike while we were doing our hot dog challenge. But a fish is a fish. It's still fun. The point of today was to get out and not only catch fish, but we wanted to come out here today and we wanted to see if we could catch some northern pike on the world's biggest tip up. And that is exactly what we did today, guys. This is what, the third fish on this tip up? We so. had four flags total. Yep. Let me get this guy back quick. See you later. So, can't really complain and we had our beaver dam set up over there and we got a few fish on those few false flags so overall I mean it was a great day can't really complain and anytime you're out on the water it is a fantastic time you're creating memories having a good old jolly time so today was awesome we're gonna end up wrapping this day up because it is getting dark we're not done fishing yet because we are gonna go to a different lake and go for walleyes but like I said we're gonna pack this up and then we will talk to you guys when we're back at the vehicle all righty ladies and gentlemen well as you can tell we made it back to the vehicle actually not only did we make it back to the vehicle, but made it to another lake. Like we said, Nick and I are gonna be doing some walleye fishing tonight. That is why we packed up a little bit early and didn't do quite as much pike fishing as we originally were going to do because we are up here in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. And as you guys know, we've got some of the greatest walleye fishing around. So we wanna take advantage of every chance that we get to go walleye fishing. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today's video. I got Nick drilling some holes behind me. He's getting us ready for tonight so that we can get you guys another banger video. Show you guys some awesome tips to help you guys catch some really nice sized walleyes. That's what we're hoping for tonight. Uh, but again, today was a really, really awesome day. We set out to do something that we've never really seen before. We've never seen anyone attempt. We've never really seen anything like it. So. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do me a huge solid favor and go ahead and leave this video a big old fat thumbs up. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And anybody who's new to the channel who's seeing this video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Go ahead down below, hit that little notification bell as well. That way you get notified every time that we post a video because we are going to make 2019 probably the craziest year of our lives. Nick and I 
absolutely want to get away from our jobs and start doing more fishing, more filming, more editing, more videos for you guys. And the only way we can do that is with your guys' support. So again, if you guys would smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that little notification bell, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, again, leave a like and please comment down below what you guys thought. Uh, if you guys want to see us do more of these videos, if you think it would be a good idea to make six of these tip-ups because we can use three each up here in northern Wisconsin. Uh, that is the legal limit. You could have three lines in the water at a time. So Nick and I could have six of these tip-ups. If that's something that you guys want to see, make sure to comment it down below because I think we could certainly do that for you guys. I think that would be pretty neat. And if you guys want to see a little bit of the behind the scenes as to how we made one of these, I'm sure we can go ahead and make a second one. That way Nick and I each have one. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. We've got a couple other really creative ideas that we also have not seen out there. I'm not sure again if this truly is a Guinness World Record or not, but it very well could be. There might be something bigger out there, but who knows? Can it really catch fish? I don't know. We're gonna have to look into it a little bit more and maybe we have to go bigger, but. Yes, if, if it's not a Guinness World Record. I wanna know. You bet we're gonna make one big enough for it. Yeah, we're gonna come for it, okay? That's the goal of 2019. Before ice is off, I wanna know if this is truly a Guinness World Record and if it's not, well, then we're gonna go ahead and crush that. We're gonna crush that. Oh, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna break a world record this year. Okay, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Again, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below what you guys think and what you guys wanna see in the near future. We got plenty of challenges coming forward. We got a lot of helpful tips and stuff like that as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff for Carl's Mystery Tackle Box and so on. So go ahead, leave your comments down below. We greatly, greatly appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. Tight Lines from NB Edits. <laughs>